here and in today's YouTube video we are going to be attempting to draw some of my briar horses. Now I've never actually taken like an art class except for in elementary school when you were like forced to take one. I always did theater and I've never been super good at drawing so my guess is that this is gonna turn out really poorly but it's gonna be fun hopefully. I'm not expecting too much. If I can at least get a shape I'll be surprised. So we're going to be taking four of my beans from my collection and drawing them they're progressively gonna get harder so first up we have Fabio and he's going to be the first one I draw because I feel like he's gonna be kind of easy since he's just standing and then second we have Rico one of my silvers I really feel like this guy's gonna be really hard to draw but the other two look a lot harder so that's why he ranked at number two coming in at number three we have rags to riches she's my only ruffian that I have now because I sold the others I'm not gonna be drawing her flower blanket because that would just be tragic I don't know how to make the legs do that I don't even know how to make standing legs so <sighs> and then number four which I don't know why I picked this guy I just thought it'd be fun to try is Alexander Hamilton which is my Hamilton uh, how am I gonna draw this you might ask well I don't know <laughs> I don't know why I picked him but it's worth a shot right so without any further ado let's dive I'm gonna hold Fabio over here out of frame so I can look at him as I draw. So let's go ahead and do this. How do artists do this? They kind of start out with like circles. I'm liking that circle, okay. And then we need another circle for the nose, but that one kind of has to come down a little bit. Okay, well, this is gonna be our head over here. Um, how do you draw an ear? So kind of like flat in the front and then like curvy in the back. All right, we got an ear and then his face is kind of like a Roman nose. So we'll make it come out a little bit. Okay. And then somehow draw a forelock. Can I just kind of make it spiky. We'll make him kind of emo. Oh, he's got to have a mouth too. Okay, how about the mouth is right there and then we'll come down a little bit and then make his chin. That's a pretty good looking head. Okay, I have to do his neck somehow. I guess you just kind of come down like this. Uh, wouldn't the neck have to come down a little bit more? Um, we're, ju we're gonna go with it. Okay, we're gonna go with it and then we're gonna make his knee. All right, we got one leg so far. That's a pretty fat neck, but to be fair, it kind of looks like he's got a fat neck so oh no he's chunky hopefully he's not self-conscious we he can have a spirit main look at that we just finished the first one I'm not even gonna lie that's pretty hot <laughs> I think this is the best thing that I've ever made so far I don't think I'm gonna be able to outdo this one Fabio you look pretty cute in that drawing dude now that we've got Fabio now we have to draw Rico I am not mentally prepared for this but we'll give it a shot let's do it so now that we have his head circles I guess we can start his ears look like they're kind of turned out a little bit. I know I haven't drawn his head yet, but we're gonna just go ahead and draw the other ear. <laughs> he looks like Jimmy Neutron! So he looks happy as a model, but since this is a picture, we're just gonna make him unhappy. So we're gonna draw that eyebrow. We're gonna put the shoulder like right there. So his neck kind of curves a little bit like that. Oh God, he looks like a snake. Okay, well, oh no, how am I gonna do his leg? I don't know how to make it a leg though, so we're gonna hope for the best. I could have done worse. I'm not gonna lie, probably could be worse, but that's okay. <laughs> And then he has to be standing, but I don't know how to make his legs bend that way. What if we just kind of did it like that? And then his tail, which just goes straight down. He's covered in flea bites, so we gotta just add those with the pencil. I've never seen a more beautiful drawing than this of Rico. It's almost like he's saying that he loves this and that he's so happy that he was created. I'm not gonna lie, turned out a lot better than I expected it to. He's actually rearing. Now we're moving on to horse number three, who is rags to riches. In my mind, this should be easier than Rico, but I don't really know because her legs are kind of everywhere. There's our starting point. It can't go downhill from that. So it looks like she's got like a really flat face up top. She does doesn't really have a forelock. Her nostrils are pretty big because she's breathing. So we're gonna make this pretty big. She kind of just looks pretty flat. She looks like a giraffe. Okay, we'll take out some of that neck. Is that how you would even do that? I don't even know. All right, and then the next leg is the one that she's actually standing on. So we have to make sure that this is like flat somehow. So, I kind of like that, I don't know. This has progressively gotten worse. How do you draw a leg? Somehow I have to get this other leg, but her tail is gonna come first, which is just straight out. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Now we gotta add her markings. And there we go. I 
I am Picasso. Look at that. Look at her point. She's so skinny up front, and then you hit that back, and she's like, mm, Becky, what? I'm not gonna say I had high hopes, but I am gonna say that I like her better as a model than I do in that picture. I do think her back leg is pretty thick, though. Mmm. Now it's time for probably a dumpster fire. All right, Hamilton, are you ready to try this? Because I don't know if I am. All right, so the last one that we have is Hamilton. I don't know how this is gonna go, but he's facing this way. So his head's kind of on the vertical. So we'll put his head there. And I guess there's no turning back now. So let's start out with that ear. He's got very forward ears. And then he has an enormous head. Oh, wow, I gave him a really big chin. That's okay. He does not have a forelock. So we'll just do that eye like right there. Oh wait, I forgot his nose. I think that looks pretty accurate. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, here comes the hard part. Somehow he has to be on the vertical and he has to be doing the saddle bread thing. Luckily this... <laughs> Picasso! Okay, luckily this first shoulder is just kind of like doing the regular thing. Now we gotta pick this one up somehow. So essentially his shoulder would be doing this, kinda, and then this, and then that. Wow! That turned out better than I thought it would! Oh wait, no, it's okay. Somehow I have to make this back leg all the way back here. So this leg has to come up here. All right, so now that we have his body, we have to figure out how to do the mane and tail, which doesn't start until like back here. Then it kind of like curves in. And then his tail is really, really weird. It kind of comes up like that. And then it goes down. Gotta give him his notorious butt wrinkles. All right, it turned out better than I thought it was going to. But look at that facial expression. He is so happy to be working. All right. Hamilton, I was right. You were incredibly fun to try and draw. All right, y'all. So that's actually gonna be the end of today's YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, please go ahead and slap that like button as hard as you possibly can to show this YouTube video and my helper beans a little bit of love. Also, if you're feeling exotic, please don't forget to check out my Instagram account, which is at infinity underscore briars. I post on there daily and I'm super active on there. Also, you get to see photos of all of the helper beans because I think they've all been on a photo shoot at this point. So they should have a photo somewhere on my account. This didn't turn out great, but it turned out better than what I thought it would. I am not an artist. Just gonna say it one more time. Not an artist. I don't ever draw. So this was definitely something that I don't normally do. I have no idea if anybody's done a YouTube video like this before so if they have credit to them I just randomly thought of it today I cannot film a skit video until I get a new tripod which is why I'm filming this because my small flexible tripod broke again so I had to order another one it's like my fifth one to go through I'm horrible with film equipment it's not good if y'all ever want to try this please do it was literally so much fun to film this YouTube video I'd do it again this is so much fun even if I wasn't filming a YouTube video I would do this because it's just fun to do don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on an upload. And other than that, y'all, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye! We rise up from